the engines on the island of Sodor look forward to Halloween. They love Sir Topham Hatt's fireworks and the children dressing up as wizards and witches. They also love Edward's spooky stories. They say that on Halloween, the ghost engine returns to the smelters looking for his lost whistle. Ooh, 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 ah, spooky, the engine said, all shivering a little. Later, Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, Percy and Duck, I have a special job for you. You want to collect some scrap from the smelter's yard tonight. On Halloween? Don't worry. You will be back in time for the fireworks. Percy isn't worried about missing the fireworks, teased Thomas. He's a scaredy engine. I am not called Percy. But he was... a little. At the smelters, all Percy could think about was Edward's ghost engine. Thomas knew Percy was scared, so he teased him even more. What's that up there? Thomas squeaked. Is it a spook? It's just a piece of twisted scrap, Percy said nervously. Isn't it? Thomas was having fun. He kept on teasing Percy. Careful the ghost engine doesn't get you, Thomas said. There's no such thing as ghosts, snapped Percy. Duck felt sorry for Percy. Nobody's brave all the time, said Duck. But I'm not a scaredy engine, Percy insisted. The job was nearly complete. Well done, the yard manager said. Now I'll need one engine to finish up. Duck wanted to pay Thomas back for all his teasing. Please, sir, he said. I'm sure Thomas wouldn't mind staying. Of course not, Thomas boasted. I'm not a scaredy engine. So Duck and Percy left. 